Deep beneath the barren deserts of Africa, something incredible is unfolding in the quiet shadows of the Afar region. A brand new ocean is beginning to form, not in some distant sea, but right beneath our feet in a place filled with dry sand and heat. It feels like something out of a science fiction scene, but this is real earth science happening right now. This isn't a tale from fantasy, it's geology in action, transforming the earth in front of our eyes. In one of the most geologically active regions on earth, the earth's crust is splitting, opening deep fractures across the landscape. You could walk over one and feel the future beneath your shoes. This region is where three powerful tectonic plates, the African, Arabian, and Somali plates, collide and move apart. The dusty plains hide a massive event that has been building for millions of years. Today, it's picking up pace, becoming more intense and visible from space. In 2005, the DABAHU volcano erupted, and the ground dramatically split open. Gigantic fissures, as long as 37 miles, tore across the earth like deep scars. The skies turned dark with ash, and hot molten lava spilled across the sandy ground. What normally takes thousands of years happened in just a few days. More than 130 earthquakes struck the area shortly after, shaking the ground and rattling the lives of thousands. For the people who live there, the sounds of the land breaking apart were louder than thunder in a violent scene. Villages were destroyed, and livestock vanished into the cracks. Families stood on broken soil, unsure if their homes would ever be safe again. Despite this destruction, scientists saw something amazing emerge, a new process of earth formation. They realized these movements were not random. They resembled the processes seen deep under the ocean, where new seafloors are born. But this was on land, in full view. It gave scientists a front row seat to the birth of an ocean, something rarely witnessed in a lifetime. From deep within the earth, magma rises through the crust, cools, and creates new oceanic crust, just like what happened when the Atlantic Ocean was formed. This entire process is writing the planet's future, shaping coastlines that don't yet exist. Experts believe that one day, the Somali plate will fully break away from the African continent. When that happens, water from the Red Sea will rush in. These towering formations could rival the Himalayas, emerging from a process called orogeny, where the crust is forced upward like wrinkles on paper. This is the same geological magic that gave birth to the Rockies, Andes, and Himalayas, each a dramatic scene carved by the slow power of time. These mountains won't just be huge, they'll be full of life and diversity. As these landscapes rise, they'll become biodiversity hotspots, supporting unique species. Mountain environments create microclimates, and these can lead to the evolution of plants and animals found nowhere else. The Andean Mountains, for example, are home to the spectacled bear and the Indian condor, creatures that have learned to live in tough, high-altitude scenes. The future mountains in Africa might hold new species that amaze us all. These species will adapt to the thinner air, colder temperatures, and rocky ground. Evolution will write its next chapter here, in a world that was once just a dry flatland. It's nature's way of creating a new balance in the changing scene. But mountains don't just shape ecosystems, they also change weather patterns. They act like giant walls in the sky, blocking wind and pulling clouds in one direction. One side becomes lush and green, while the other remains dry and dusty. This dramatic shift will change how people live in the region. Farming patterns will adjust. Water sources will shift. Communities will have to build new ways to survive in a scene that no longer matches the past. As rivers form and disappear, and as lakes rise where there were none before, entire cities may have to move. But this is also a moment of opportunity. New resources might be discovered beneath the freshly made land. Humans will face a choice, adapt or fall behind. Will we build homes that fit the new terrain? Can our technology keep up with nature's power? These questions are already echoing through university labs and science centers around the globe. Just as the earth changes, so too must the way we live upon it. Our cities, our roads, even our ideas of geography will be rewritten on this living stage. The future won't look like today's map, it will be reshaped by fire, water, and time.
This phenomenon is a reminder of Earth's dynamic nature. Our planet is not a still photograph, it's a motion picture, playing across billions of years. We just happen to be watching one of its rare, most powerful scenes unfold in real time. From bubbling magma to crashing waves and rising mountains, Earth tells stories through its shifting skin. And now we are part of that story, witnessing the chapters being written beneath the ground we walk on. The formation of this new ocean reminds us of our small place in a large, ever-changing world. And yet, it also fills us with wonder, because we are lucky enough to watch it happen. Cameras, satellites, and scientists are capturing this scene for generations to come. Soon, textbooks will mark this as the moment a new ocean began. Children will grow up learning about the desert that turned into sea. Documentaries will show the cracks where it all started, in a land once dry and silent. One day, tourists may visit this place not for its dry heat, but for its coastline beauty and mountain trails. What was once hidden will become one of the most visited scenes on the planet. This transformation isn't just scientific, it's deeply human. It reminds us how much we don't control and how much we must respect the forces around us. It also shows that even from destruction, something beautiful and vital can rise. So when we look at this titanic geological shift, we don't just see a crack in the ground. We see a path forward, a new sea, and the rise of something ancient and new at the same time. It's the Earth's way of saying, I'm not done yet. From volcanoes and valleys to oceans and mountains, the story continues. Nature is both artist and storyteller and we are the viewers watching its masterpiece unfold across a moving, breathing scene. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.